are you sure you weren't followed? Believe me, you wouldn't want anyone to see what we're about to do today. Hey, what's happening? I'm so happy to see you here once again. And if this is the first time we're meeting, my name is Anna. Welcome to my channel. Hey, if you think we're going to get along, why don't you hit the subscribe button right now and also tap that notification bell just so you know if I have anything out. And if you know deep in your heart that you're going to like this video, why don't you give me a thumbs up right now as well. And I think you picked a good video to get to know me in because today we are going to have a lot of fun. And you probably noticed that I'm wearing my workout gear. Well, actually I'm not wearing any shoes, but this is because we are about to do some warm up exercises. Now don't turn off the video, okay? I'm not talking about actual exercises, but I am talking about vocal warm up exercises. I have been talking a lot about using your voice in the past two videos. Well, that is because I'm a voiceover talent and I'm also an events host. And right now during this pandemic, I'm also doing some online events hosting. Now this video is not just for voiceovers. Don't worry. Okay. I got you covered. This is also for you because we all are using our voice online right now while we work from home. If you're a teacher, chances are you're teaching your class online. If you're a salesperson, chances are you're doing some presentation online. And I'm sure you also need to pitch your ideas to your bosses too. And if you're working for any office, I'm sure you've been having some Zoom meetings day in and day out. What about you? How do you use your voice for work? Let me know by sending me a comment down below. Just like athletes who warm up before their big game, we also need to warm up our voice before we do some voiceovers, we go to our meetings, before we teach our class, just so we don't hurt our voice. And so I find it very important that we take care of our voice. And we can do this by simply doing some vocal warm up exercises. And you're also probably wondering why we locked ourselves in the room. Trust me, you don't want anyone to see what we're about to do. Before we get to any actual vocal exercises, let's stretch our body as well to get the blood flowing, you know, and that way we'll seem energetic, ready to go and happy when we turn on our webcam, our cameras or our microphone. Okay. So just follow me. This is going to be simple. Let's do some shoulder rolls. Okay. And breathe while you're doing it. Reverse it. Five. You already feel good, right? That's good. Now let's do some head rolls as well. Put your arms on your waist just so it doesn't feel awkward and let's go. That feels really good. You know, when you use your voice for a living as a voice over talent like me, you tend to stress or put some tension here on your shoulders and your neck and you don't even know it. So it's good to exercise those muscles as well just before you get to work. Okay, our very first vocal warm up exercise, I call it the sourpuss. Why? Because we started out by saying Q. You really tense up the muscle here in the face. Q really tense it out. And then you say E really tense in here. And then Q again, Q and then R really tense up those cheeks. So that way you're exercising your lips as well as your throat. It's going to begin to open up. So again, that's Q E. Q, R, very good. Do that a couple more times and you're all set with our first vocal warm up exercise. So now let's go to the second vocal exercise. Sometimes you don't even notice that our mouth only open up to here. So we end up talking like, hello, how are you? What are you doing? We don't even notice that. So it's good to exercise your jaw so that it opens up and you can pronounce your words clearly and you don't eat your words. Okay. So this is the jaw drop. Like when you see a hot guy pass by <gasps> hot, just kidding. Okay. So you drop the jaw 
ah, and imagine like you have an egg inside. Ah, you can say the vowel sound ah. Let's try that. Ah, ah, ah. Do that a couple of times until you feel your jaws has loosened up. So now let's move on to the third vocal warm-up exercise. Now I'm sure you all do this every morning when you get up or before you go to sleep or maybe even during the middle of the day. This is yawning. Okay, when you yawn, you create space in your mouth all the way down to your throat with air. So just give it a good go. Like you can actually pretend to yawn or sometimes people yawn on cue. So let's try that. Yeah, do it with that sound and with all the arm and hand gesture. Okay, let's try that again. I can really feel it. Okay, be careful with your throat, okay? Don't ever overdo it. Just enough so that you know that air passed through all the way down to your diaphragm. All right, so before we move on to our next vocal warm-up exercise, let me know in the comment section down below if you're still here, you're still following me and ready for some more. Okay, so this next vocal warm-up exercise is specifically for your lips and they're called lip rolls, okay? So this is how you do it. <sighs> So if you're like me and you cannot do it, the trick is to hold your cheeks up and then do it. Okay, don't worry about the spit. That's fine. You're all alone anyway. Okay, do that a couple more times and you should be good to go. See, I told you you wouldn't want anyone to see you right now. All right, I guess we're ready for our next vocal warm-up exercise, and this is called the tongue rolls. So do this. One more. I know it's silly, but it really does help your tongue as well as your throat. We used to do this on radio all the time, just before we go on air. Once again, <laughs> hey, before we get to my very last tip, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't yet. Tap that notification bell just so you know if I have anything new out. And if you're getting value so far from this video, give me a thumbs up right now. All right, so for our last vocal warm-up exercise, we are going to work on our enunciation. This is actually from Gary Teresa. I follow him. He is such a wonderful voiceover coach. And this is actually a combination of vowels and consonants so that you can work on your pronunciation, your enunciation. And the whole idea behind this is it will basically cover all the possible sounds that you will come across with in your script or in your work or when you're teaching. I'm going to flash some letters on the screen and you can follow along with me and really try to pronounce it. Abata, Ebita, Ibita, Ubuta, Akata, Ekata, Ikata, Okota, Ukuta, Adita, Edita, Idita, Odita, Uduta, Agata, Egata, Igata, Oguta, Uguta, Aheta, Eheta, Ihita, Ohuta, Uhuta, Adita, Ejata, Ijata, Ojuta, Ujuta, Alata, Elita, Ilita, Oluta, Uluta, Amata, Emita, Imita, Omata, Umuta, Anita, Enita, Inita, Onuta, Unuta. Apata, epita, ipita, opita, uputu. So now you can do that on your own. You don't have to go fast. You can do it as slow as you want and then just build up your speed. So again, just a reminder, make sure you do all these vocal warm-up exercises with care for your throat. Don't overdo it. Don't force it. If you feel like your throat is a little tight today and you still need to go to work, I suggest that you do the hmm that's very gentle on your throat. All right, so hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet. 
Also make sure you tap the notification bell just so you know if I have anything new out. Please do give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Share it with your friends, especially those who use their voice a lot for their work. And that's all I have for you today. Your voice is now all warmed up and ready to get to work. So get your script, go through it, and have a fantastic day. I'll see you in my next video.